Hello and welcome back to the Mike from LA1 Network here on YouTube and welcome back to NBA 2K12. We were here earlier today and now it is time to begin a new My Player. Yes, we did Phoenix Ride earlier, so. So now it is time to start a brand new My Player series here. And now it's time to begin the creation. This time, we're going with a shooting guard this time around. The college, we're making him from... You know what? You know what? Since the Euro is coming around, since the Euro tournament is going on right now, I think it's probably appropriate to choose... Thank him from a certain summer that uh, when I was in Orlando, when I was in, Disney, in downtown Disney yesterday, there was a lot of fans from this certain country. Oh, I guess Portugal wasn't on here. Oh well. Well, I guess I gotta go with the, the defending jams and I have to make make him come from Spain. Gonna make it, but really, South Korea, really? If South Korea is there, where's North Korea? There's Spain. There it is. We're making his birthday May 5th, 90, 92. And this for this this guy's number this time around, we're gonna make him a number number nine, number nine, number nine, number nine. We're gonna make him a shooting guard, and like I said, we're gonna make him a scoring type. His nickname will be Mr. Perfect, and now. Now it's time for the name. No, no, no. No, 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 no. I can't burn. I can't do that. I don't know if I'm say that. Okay, so it looks like we're gonna use Okay. Okay. We're going to make him a... We're going to name him... Oh. Welcome to the Welcome to the Lightning Bolton I player series here on NBA 2K12. He'll be Mr. Perfect like I said. But we're we're gonna make him more like a Pau Gasol lookalike since he's from Spain. We're gonna make him a Gotta make him the wavy like character here. Hair color, we're gonna make him a. Not like that. No, 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 no. 
gotta make him a Palgasol like here. I, since he's a Laker, so we gotta make him look like. So. The headband, yes, we're gonna make him wear the headband this time. Okay. Undershirt. You know what? Let's give him the nip shot. Yeah, let's do it. Shoes this time around. We are gonna make it. Make him go all black. And they'll be white. They're in the ways. Just like. All right. So now, yes, we are creating lightning bolt. Okay, so now I'm gonna mute the TV so we can, uh, so I can type this safe feature in. So I'm gonna put the camera down for a split second here. I'll be right back. And yes, there will be another one soon. And yes, the other series will continue. Here we go, it's time for the Rookie Showcase. I wonder if they're going to continue this in NBA 2K13 when it comes out. Because so far, this game is worth the money. Ooh, better turn it down. Yeah, Lightning Bolton from Spain. A shooting guard wearing number nine, number nine, number nine. Okay, the co commit three of your turnovers. Limit your matchup to four assists. Finish the game with a teammate rate of C plus or better. Okay, so now we are ready to go here. So we can get ready to enter the next arena here. Like Lightning Bolton. Look at the stars starting group. Foster is out there with Davis. And there's Lightning Bolton. And he scores the first two points of the rookie showcase. Bolton in a two guard. He's out there with Anderson. And it's Gibson in at the pivot spot. Handing the middle. Backing down is Brown. Not loose. No credit to defense, but you've got to be more careful with the ball. Here's Anderson. Oh, that's blocked. Oh, I missed. And so here are the stars. He got to leave assignment, really? The arrow was on them. Come on. That's the elite ball. Don't pass it to McDaniel. Give it to Bolton. And he scores again. Uh, Joe Patterson, a goaltending call. Right there on that putback. Here is Anderson. And there's the block, so he's going down to a C minus. But they still get the job done. A slow start for the stars in this one. It's a five point game. As a, he gets a good foul on this one, but it's okay. They still have a huge lead, seven to two, in favor of the elite. Quick start for the elites in this one. 
it converts to weight. You know, when you talk about size and explosiveness, this guy's definitely got the goods. And that's part of why he's so highly regarded. I mean, he can make plays that other people simply can't. Here is Mason. Down low. Brown. Now the pass to Davis. Dumps it down. Beautiful pass there. And here come the rookie stars. They're making a comeback here. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's see who's his second posi secondary position. I can't, they can't tell you? Six minutes left in the first quarter of really? The they can't tell you what it is? I guess they only tell you when you're into pros. Really? That was a bad call? That was a good call. Come on. Six on the shot clock. That's the free fly, rebounded by the Stars. And he gets a good transition of defense. You have to get past Brad Mason. Or oh, George Mason. Well, glad Lightning didn't get that one. And it goes out of bounds, but but he gets credited with the steal, and unfortunately, he, the ball turns over for some reason. Either the refs are as drunk as Jonathan Quick or something. Really? That was a bad block attempt? I thought that was good. That lightning attempted. And there goes McDaniel. Hopefully he doesn't get an epic fail. So, free throws for Lightning. And he missed. No, I missed. And there goes half most of his teammate grade right there. Passes it to Davis. There's the triple. Again, the miss by the stars. So a successful box out, which I have no idea what this is, and yet I'm playing a basketball game. That's the first time that I actually got that then. That's a stop Foster. against Richardson and, Davis puts it in. and now we have a tie game at nine to nine apiece here so but we should be getting our first substitutions here at the rookie showcase in a minute here and no no substitutions here this time so I guess the coaches are probably thinking time for this here And unfortunately, there's a turnover right there. Now that was a, will this be a good shot defense? Nope. How rude. That was a pretty good attempt at a def playing defense. And there we go. First attempt is good. And he makes both 
And now it's a tie game here once again. As the star, as the rookie stars get their points back. Hopefully, here's something to add to my wish list. Choose which team you want to join for the rookie showcase if there is one. Because this is the first of the franchise I actually own, and I know there was a thing called the Summer Circuit. Thanks, not a fan. And unfortunately, the rookie stars threw a three-pointer, so as a result, the team's down by three. As, as he scores again, I swear, I think this is probably, he's probably the leading scorer on the team. Oh, I'm right, he is the leading scorer. Bolton with six, and the rest of them are still in. The, the closest person is Patterson with three. And now, and oh, he's going to the bench. As right now, Bolton, Lightning is back out on there as a shooting guard again, as Doug Martin is. And unfortunately, there's another turnover for him right there, so. Oh, gee. I wonder who's going to be the next one in M NBA 2K12. And there he goes again with eight points so far in this game. Outside for Davis from the arc, and the rebound goes to the elites. Gibson's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. And unfortunately the shot was blocked and it goes out of bounds so the elites get the ball back. And so far no one's guarding Bolton and he will get the ball and oh gee I wonder what's going to happen. He passes it. I thought he was going to shoot it. Well at least he lowered someone else's teammate grade than his. No, it's the guard Sam Parks from Minnesota, which is odd, because Minnesota is not usually good in basketball. The only score I know them they are really good at is hockey. And now, Minnesota. And there was a good shot selection, so his teammate grade went barely up for Lightning Bolton. And there's, there's good ball movement. And with 8.1 seconds, wait. Yeah. And right now, things are going to go this way. It's 54-35. As the rookie stars take the lead into halftime. At the score of 54-35. Now let's take a look at the scouting report. As you can see, his draft stock is dropping. As you can see, his teammate grade is... A, as you can see, scoring is a three-star prospect. Rebounding sucks. Efficiency is pretty good. His team play needs a lot of work. His passing sucks. His defense is... Oh, this defense is good. His turnover was lacking. Lightning Bolton. It is turn and he, overall he's a third starter. Look at his drop stock. 
dropping. So he better shape things up. Although he if he doesn't, if he doesn't shape this up, he's probably going to the D League, and we all know we don't want to go to the D League. It's kind of like the torture. It's a small to get into the big show. So now it's time to start off the second half here. And Justin Bieber. Okay, I gotta stop making that Bieber joke. And he allowed an offensive rebound. And he allowed a his guy to score. Good job. As he gives it to Anderson, and unfortunately, he gets it. And take a look at this. Is he gonna? He gets a leap assignment, so it's a D average right now. So, and uh oh, look out! And he allowed his man to score, but no good shot defense, which is which he is pissed off about. And so far, Bolton. And he missed. Plenty of pressure in a game like this to impress. He has now the pressure might be getting to him, but you know everybody's in the same boat here. But that's not an excuse. Great pass to set up the way in. Nine points in the game. As he allows his guy to score, geez. On offense in the early part of the third. I mean that's three makes on four tries now. points for him. Here's Bolton, and Davis pulls it down. Davis has got three rebounds so far in the game. And now Foster. He kicks it to Brown. The shot. Off target with the jump hook. This elite squad struggling. Still looking for their first bucket of the second half. And now it's a, uh, here's a foul called, uh, and now Eric Anderson from LSU is now up the line. And don't forget this Saturday, it'll be Road to Glory Saturday, so everything Road to Glory from Cartman to Turner will happen. And that means tomorrow I'm going to the happiest place on earth then Thursday it'll be all MLB 2k12 you know what let's make it NBA 2k12 day again NBA NBA Thursday I guess back to Davis moving it around from about 16 and he hits the jumper for two as right now he is, as Lightning is starting to get really mad to get his free throw percentage back up to what it was, and unfortunately he keeps missing. The ball doesn't bounce your way, Lightning. You have the attention span of Justin Bieber. Okay, go to stop making Bieber jokes. And there we go. And way to score through traffic there, Lightning. Woo, man. Yeah, really nice play. Wasn't bothered at all. Here's Brown. Shot misses. So far, he's at 10 points. And so far, this there's something that most of my My Player series usually have in this series at this point. An assist, right? But nope. So far, he keeps getting robbed of them. Or the person he passes to always misses. And he loses the ball. Jeez. Where is he going? I wonder where is he going to get drafted to. And now what? <coughs> He's now at a D minus. How embarrassing. As he gets a defensive rebound, so he's back at a D average once again. 
And now he's there's a blocky foul, so he gets a draw foul, so he's barely at a D average again. So, and now things right now are not looking good. As you can see right now, the dance team is getting back out. Yeah, give it up. Ten points for him. That's there's McDaniel, and he gets a fast leading to a foul, so his teammate grade is starting to build up. So, yeah. Yeah. He's perfect from the line this time. They're locked in from the charity strike this half. Not a miss yet. And they're going to have to continue that pace, Clark, because they're down, and anytime you're losing, you got to take advantage of every offensive opportunity you have. And so here are the stars. Their defense has only allowed six points in the second half. And unfortunately, going back down to a D minus because he allowed his guy to score. Jeez. He was climbing in the beginning, and then that first turnover, it keeps dropping. And now, as his, as his teammate, rates, teammate rate starts to plummet. Uh-oh, look out, his teammate rate's gonna fall again, and it does. Oh, I missed. How is that a back call for a pass? He has to be really pissed off now. I can't argue with the result, but a little unnecessary to go through the off balance shot there. He passes it to Davis. Gibson against Brown. Here's Reed. The elites pull it in. As you can see right now, he is. Getting pretty tired, so his coach should be making a substitution any minute now. And there we go. But you know what? I'm just curious. Is the, who's the leading score? Oh my God, he's tied. Oh my goodness gracious. You know what's really sad? Most of his players, only McDaniel and Anderson, are making most of their free throws. Other than that, no one, most nothing, no one gets fouled. And here we go, there we go. Here he goes, we should be seeing a substitution, and yep, I am right. And now with 2.27 left to go in the fourth quarter. As Lightning comes back out onto the court, recharged, hopefully not to, oh, and now the torch will begin using, and, and there's a personal foul on him, jeez, that is not a good way to come out after a substitution, that's the second foul of the game, and right now they are being crushed by the rookie stars, and that reminds me, as soon as this video is over, I have to charge my camera. And look at this. The leader, and there we go. And the stars have possession. And there's the feet to Douglas. And Patterson's there. A great one -two and uh oh, we could be seeing our first death right here. Now let's take a look here as right now Bolton has 14 points but it's whoa look out hey watch your language you're gonna end up like Jonathan Quick speaking of which I did see the rally and uh watch the rally and I don't know how the FSN didn't get that through the sensors where's the FCC and up there's the F How is that a black box attempt? The guy who's, in, who's working the teammate grades needs LASIK surgery. 
just not forceful enough, not alert or aggressive enough, and sometimes trying to do too much with the basketball. Sometimes you, you just got to make the easy pass. Somebody's open, throw it to them. When you do that multiple times, the game starts to find As you can see right now, it's... It's stolen by Mark. And he, wait, what, what's he doing? Goes up. Shots it by Gibson. That's not a defensive matchup that's going wait, to work out the? too often. I mean, it's hard to give up that much size. What the heck? They've sheared the load offensively. I swear, I'm not doing this. Oh. That is a weird glitch. What they're doing offensively. That makes it so much tougher to defend, too, when you have to account for all five offensive players. So he's going to end with an F, which is kind of a first in the show in any of my MLB, in, in any of my NBA. Because most of them usually end in on a D or a C minus range. And he's going to draw another foul here. So, jeez. I wonder how this is going to turn out here. As he missed. Okay, still has three bars. I'll check my battery on my controller. I don't want it dying out on me again. This will be just like the one of my Max Power videos. So he's old for four in the free throw line. So that's probably the first in episode three. When wherever he goes, he's. So far, I gotta say, from my Mayfair class of 2012, congratulations, great job, and best of luck wherever you guys go. Because it is, it is their graduation day as I am recording this. Oh, it's being, what the? What's he doing? Wait, what's he doing? Earlier in the game, they held a 25-point lead. Either that or is he drunk? Boy, is he drunk. And that is it. The Elites lose 104-85. I'm just curious how many skill points did he lose. Really? Just 262? Wow. Man, I actually never knew that. But he completed two of them, so it could have been worse. So this is... You know what? Let's add the draft in here for a bonus. You know what? Episode 2, why not? You know what, why not? Since the video, that's, I, cause I'm, I still have a lot of time before I can upload. Let's see where he, that's where, that's where, let's see where he's going. This first draft interview is with, oh, I predicted, it's Washington first. Thanks for taking the time to answer my questions. We're picking 18th in the upcoming draft and are very interested in what you bring to the table. Alright, let's get to it. This next question is more how you feel about what we're doing here in Washington. Having recently traded away our former cornerstone in Gilbert Arenas, the franchise turned a new page in that we brought in a lot of very talented young guys, headlined by John Wall. With the group we have now, do you feel like you'd fit in? Well, he, he got the same question that kicked him the nuts, and you know what he said? He said this had a lot of potential. Now, let's see what... White, Mr. Bolton, has, has to say. I'm ready to step right into this league and shine. And I feel like the roster you have assembled here needs a few more years. What the hell was that? Damn fourth rate is making noise. My career is only going to last so many years. And if I'm being perfectly honest with you, I don't want to waste the first part of my career waiting for other guys to develop. No offense, but no thanks. Ooh, so I, Washington got owned. Next question. Next question. How did you feel about your game tonight? What stood out to you? His teammate grade? Okay. And it wasn't the best game I've ever played, that's for sure. I'm often very critical of my play. I tend to focus on the things I did wrong and learn from those. I'm just not that guy that's going to gloat about the things that I did do well. My mom always told me that for every right in the world, there's a wrong. I'm trying to eliminate the wrongs from my game. You feel me? 
I'll drink to that. All right, now let's see what the wizard has to say. Thanks for your time. It was a little disappointing, to be honest, but I appreciate you being up front with us. Well, he's not going to Washington, but could he join Reverend Lovejoy in the Knicks? Well played out there tonight. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm the GM of the New York Knicks. We currently have the 17th pick of the draft. They're narrowing down our list of draft targets. If you wouldn't mind, I'd like to ask you a couple of questions. Like L.A., playing in New York is like playing under the microscope. Your every move on the court will be critiqued and analyzed by the fans who expect nothing less than a championship year in and year out. Beyond that, your every move off the court will be chronicled and fed to the public by the paparazzi. What I'm trying to ask is, are you ready for this? Is this a lifestyle you can feel comfortable living while still maintaining your full focus on the team? Well, let's see what he says. I was raised different than most other kids with big aspirations. I get uncomfortable when the spotlight cast on me in a negative light. What I don't like being that? tailed by photographers when all I want is to get a bite to eat. I like to keep my personal life private. The New York lifestyle, it's just not for me. Ooh, so it looks like he might not be going to might be going to New York, so let's see. Alright then, one going. more. Being in the NBA brings a lot of responsibilities, and some people just aren't ready for it, if you know what I mean. What are your plans once you get that first paycheck? Easy. I want to get a nice pad, man. One that has plenty of room so my boys can crash. Let's see, what else? Uh, I'm a huge shoe collector, so I can finally get all those old retro Jordan kicks. I love those, man. Cars, watches, whatever I want, man. If I put in the time in the gym and on the court, the world will be at my fingertips, baby. Well, that's what... Oh, so you want to be a Rebecca Black wannabe. All right, let's see what the next episode is. Thanks for answering our questions. I don't know that we're a fit for you this time. We'll need to discuss internally. I'll be in touch. Okay, so we don't know where he's going to go. And... Uh-oh, Charlotte. Could we see them going to the Bobcats? Good job out there tonight. I really appreciate you giving us a few minutes of your time. We have the 19th pick in the draft and are interested in your talents. We just want to pick your brain a little before we decide. Let's get to it. As a younger team, I feel like we have a lot of opportunities for you. I'm here to tell you that you have a chance to be our franchise centerpiece if you put in the work. How many other teams can offer you that? That being said, we still have a couple of years ahead of us where we're going to be acquiring young talent and assets. We might struggle a bit in those years. Are you going to be able to remain focused during the rebuilding years? Uh, I'll keep this short and sweet. All I do is win, but I don't really see that opportunity right now in Charlotte. Sorry, I'm just not interested in losing. Oh, so he doesn't want to be the next Charlie Sheen. Okay, next question. Okay, last question. What do you think you'll bring to a franchise as far as marketability? Oh, gee. I got this is an OG. I wonder which one I'm gonna choose. Since I saw Blink Bros, Blink Bro. Yep, you guessed it. Swagger. Everywhere I've gone in my life has been big. I think my presence has always created a rock star environment, and I think a lot of that has to do with the way I carry myself. I play hard both on the court and off the court. You know, likes to be enjoyed, my man. All right, now let's see what the Bobcats have to say here. I appreciate your honesty answering my questions. Best of luck to you in the draft. Well, it looks like the three teams are not going to him in the draft, so episode two will be the draft, that's all. So before we go into the draft and end episode one, let's see where they project him to go. Because I have a feeling he's going down somewhere. Here, I think he'll be going to Washington. Jeez. All right, see you guys for the next episode.